Hello and welcome, my name is Maria Cartaya and I'm in charge of communications here at Sterna Abogados. And today we're gonna talk about how to get your NIEN number once you get to Spain. We're gonna talk about the requirements and what you need to take to your appointment in order for everything to go smoothly. First of all, we would like to say that a NIE number is a número de identificación de extranjero, which translates to a foreign identification number. And people basically get their NIE for different purposes, but mainly so that this number, when it's assigned to you, whenever you do any processes of, of immigration or extranjería, the government and extranjería knows who you are and knows your case. So it's basically a number to identify who you are. Now, the first thing we would like to say is do not show up to the office if you do not have an appointment, or at least here in Madrid, okay? Um, a lot of people feel adventurous and they go to the office and then they leave very disappointed because people didn't help them. So what happens is that it, it is a requirement that you go online and you make a cita, which means a previous appointment, okay? Now let's talk about some of the requirements that you must not forget once you go to your appointment. First, the EX15 form is a form that you can find online and it's basically um, you soliciting to get your number. Uh, so this form has to be completely and perfectly filled out and signed. Second requirement is that you take your valid passport. It must not be expired. Third, you must be able to explain the reason why you want to obtain a NIA number. I would say in my personal case, I obtained or I requested my NIA number because I moved here to Madrid and I wanted to open a bank account and it was one of the requirements that the bank asked me for. So that is a very valid reason and I know that it works. So if you need to open up a bank account, this is one of the reasons why you would want to get a NIA number. Okay? Um, I personally didn't write anything uh, like a letter to take to them telling them that that was the reason why I wanted to get a NIA number but I highly recommend that for both this and your passport you take a printout so in case they ask you for it you can turn it in so always go prepared for all of these appointments because honestly unfortunately you never know what they're gonna ask you for okay and lastly you have to take your TASA which is um, the model 790 and this TASA you need to pay for it before you go to your appointment you can do this at any ATM um, at any bank it doesn't have to be a specific bank okay so you would have to pay uh, the amount of 9 euros and 64 cents that's the amount of the TASA for this particular process which is getting your NIA number and that's it so make sure you have your appointment and you have all of the documents that i have just mentioned and you should have no problems in obtaining your NIA number now one of the things i would like to add is that a lot of people say okay how often do i need to renew my NIA number because um word is that it expires in three months so there's some truth in 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 that the truth is Yes, the paper that they give you, it's a white paper with your number on it, that paper expires after three months. But your number does not expire. Your number does not expire ever. That's gonna be your number for life. So um, when you ask if you need to renew your NIE, the real answer or the correct answer is Yes, you need to renew it only if you're gonna need that paper to do anything. So for example, if you're getting or registering your address here in Spain and they ask you for that paper, then yes, it needs to be valid, so you would need to renew it. But if anybody tells you what's your new number and it means I'm gonna renew it because every three months you're gonna get a new number, that's not correct. The number that you get, that's it. So if you have any further questions about how to get your new number or the requirements, please send us an email to info at or visit our website for more information.